Hey, this is June Blender at Sapien Technologies. I've been thinking about the very best and most efficient ways to create, organize, and manage my modules. And I'd like to show you a feature of PowerShell Studio that supports one of the primary best practices. It's called New Module from Help File. So way back in April of 2015 at the PowerShell Summit, during my PowerShell Help Deep Dive talk, I advocated using your help file as a design specification. So writing help before you write your code. Now in PowerShell we don't often write designer coding specifications, but it's a decades old practice that's designed to improve the usability of the final product. It separates thinking about the usability of your functions from writing the code. Writing help as a specification allows you to think like an end user. So when they use your functions, which parameters will they need? What kinds of names should they have to make their use intuitive? What sort of inputs should it take and outputs should it return so that the functions in your module coordinate well and the user can think about their task instead of trying to figure out how to use a clunky module? And if you use your help file as your specification, then it does double duty. You can circulate the file among your colleagues for their opinions, and when you're finished, you have a help file that GetHelp can read. In this process, your help file is your starting point instead of your code. So here I am in PowerShell Help Writer, but you can use any tool that supports the creation of PowerShell Help XML files. And you can see that I've spec'd out my functions. I have a synopsis and a detailed description. I have parameters, a little description of the parameter and the parameter attributes. And most importantly, I've written examples. These examples are a great starting point for my pester tests. Some of my parameters are really simple. And let's grab a more complex one. And this one is a little more interesting. It takes an array of file info objects and it's designed for pipelines. So I've actually really thought out the way I want the functions in this module to work. And now it's time to code, but I don't need to start from scratch. And here I am in PowerShell Studio. I'll click File, New, New Module from Help File, and open that help file that we were just looking at in PowerShell Help Writer. PowerShell Studio will parse the help file name and take the module name from it so that the two files will work together. And then I just click Create Module. You can see that PowerShell Studio has pretty much created a skeleton module for me. It's created a PSM1 file and spec'd out the functions that I defined in my help file, including the output types and their parameters. In this case, where we had a slightly more complex parameter, it's created the parameter with its parameter type and set value from pipeline to true. Because I'm taking values from the pipeline, PowerShell Studio even created begin, process, and end blocks so that I can handle my pipeline input correctly. It's also added a dot external help comment keyword that associates the function with its help file. And way down here at the bottom, it's added an export module member command with the names of my functions. Over here, it's created a module manifest. It's associated the name of my PSM1 file, created a unique GUID, and added information about me and my company from my profile. It's even created a test file for me. I'll be putting my pester tests in this one. 
and it's placed all of these files in a project. So I can easily open, close, rename, and coordinate my files. You can see that the project includes my PSD1, PSM1, and test module files, and of course the help file that I started with. And I can build a module right from my project files. Here in the project pane, I click Build Module. And PowerShell Studio places that module in my default user module directory. I can open it right from here in the project pane. I'll click Open Module Folder. And here's my module with the PSD1 and PSM1 files and the help file that started it all. Now there's still a lot of work to be done, all of that coding um, to make the functions work and make them work together, and I need to write my pester tests. But I can already import my module and even test the help. So let's run that. I'll click Run in Console, and you can see that PowerShell was able to import the module and get the help from my help file. So that's the new module from help file feature in PowerShell Studio. It's another way that PowerShell Studio helps you to be a better and more efficient scripter. Thanks for listening.